uh, that gives uh, health promoters a, a way to influence uh, students in this case. And, and other way around, if we take single uh, settings like uh, like school, hospital, whatever, it limits the, the frame of, uh, of seeing what are the effective ways to study and understand the determinants in this particular setting. CD in this way, of course, is very complex. There are many levels and, and all of these other settings, uh, health promoting school, hospital, even prison, are located within a city. So, so uh, cities are, are this way very challenging uh, ones. Uh, key elements in, in settings approach are, uh, according to Mark Doris from, from UK, uh, to create supportive and healthy working and living environments. So, so that those environmental factors are noticed within these settings. And then to integrate health promotion into daily activities, and you can change health promotion as physical activity in, in this sense, uh, physical activity into daily activities. These probably are also very familiar uh, things for, for uh, this group of people here today, but, but to realize this in, in practice, that's another thing. Recognizing that people do not operate in just one setting, that they move a daily basis within various settings and, and if, if a work in a an, in an city context will be done, it has to be cooperated with these other settings also. Uh, I would uh, like to uh, uh, emphasize uh, uh, at the, at the, at, as my final words uh, two focal aims of healthy city concept which is uh, uh, also uh, the first WHO uh, healthy or health promoting concept right after the of Charter 86. So uh, as having a history of all more than 20 years, there are many things that we can learn from healthy city concept, even though uh, physical activity has not been in a, in a key area there. But uh, healthy city has uh, two main ideas. And the first one is that to get health issues on the agenda and decision-making process of local governments, community organizations, and private sector. The other aim is to create strategies that identify social, environmental, and economic determinants of health, health through which corporate and community culture can be changed. So the organizational and cultural changes are in focus in this setting-based approach. But this very shortly in a nutshell of, of setting-based health promotion. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I think that this, this might be, this might be um, a really important part of, of, of our, see, our uh, yeah, yeah. way of working. And Bea, I, I, I think that for example, perhaps uh, Sami might be one of our, our experts in this. How you see about settings in Finland, these uh, sports clubs, it's a traditional and um, and we are, we will I have their their report. You see, we had this second international Tafisa Espan workshop here, and uh, actually here is uh, here is you see a uh, really well organized and based in the theories. You see how actually sport clubs are dealing with health, <laughs> and it's written down in this document. They, it's there, and in, in in Finland, you see, I think that. Uh, this new door for, for class to approach those people who are physically inactive and what would be, you see, this. so it's written out and it's, it is really, you see, uh, this traditional way of working, so it's, what, it is important, uh, important uh, setting for us to, to open it. And then, you see, uh, then we had in Finland, you see, first Tavisa international workshop. It was it, it, one of the results of this year. You see, it, it was the first, first uh, uh, workshop when we visited uh, in, in WHO headquarters in Genoa and they asked about, you see, what, how about uh, this active workplace because it's, it will be the next, next topic of next uh, theme of, of uh, Move for Health Day. And I said that we know pretty well in, in Finland, you see, this, uh, this uh, active workplace procedures. And that's the reason why we organized it. And then, after that, we organized together with, uh, uh, we organized, you see, this by EFCS, 
European Companies for Federation Conference, um, and uh, it was pretty good success. So you can recognize here, for example, the person Ken Tureson sitting there. His great presentation when Swedish King, you see, is giving you the healthiest, healthiest company in Sweden annually. So, any, anyway, you see, second in, interesting and challenging uh, setting for us in Finland is really uh, workplaces. The reason is that from the beginning of this year, every employee is potentially able to get 400 euros with tax-free money from employer. And you see, you can imagine that this area of business is mushrooming now. And I think that it's important, you see, this, 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 this setting is for, in Finland is important. And uh, of course then this healthcare, this cross sector approach is as, as well. So, so yeah, I can give you this. But you see, these reports are there, so that you can pick it up if, if, when, when, the, when you go to the lab. Well, setting approach, I think it's it's it's, it's important. Then so here you see actually you see this photo for health context and so. But I don't I don't put my fingers more into this so because it <coughs> it took take at least one day to report this all. However, this uh, active city criteria, active city criteria is uh, interesting. You know, I was I, I, I was able to recognize that uh, it's, it's it's written down this kind of uh, content in, in many uh, presentation here in, in this already. But um, for example, from uh, I would like to say you see, you see this setting approach is pretty important. Workplaces, healthcare, schools, and so on. Then this follow-up studies. What kind of instrument we use there? Theory behind there, and and so on. I think that this is uh, interesting to open, but I don't. I I think that we don't. Uh, I don't begin to report more about more about that. And then, finally, then finally, this my summary is here. You see, we need the terminology and definitions to be able to discuss, to work, to cooperate, we understand it, each other. For example, uh, let me tell you, I'm the, the old, old, old timer of European Companies for Federation, and uh, I got an opportunity to, to start, you see, to start this health and company sports discussion in this organization. And it took five years. It took five years so that we were able to meet each other in terms of health. And uh, can't you know how there is still some gaps and so on. So that I, I, I would like to say that this is not minor thing in our procedure. Then, for me, really, really this institutional support and resources. When we talk about, you see, this WHO way of working, how important they are, this global strategy, and as well, again, this national, just like uh, um, Mari Miettinen, for example, you, you see, we have to be at good cooperation with ministry and so on. Otherwise, there is no, no, you see, resource in the long run. Then this uh, uh, promotion approach, I think, health promotion, physical activity promotion, health enhancing physical activity promotion, what kind of promotion approach they have? Benefits, influences, you can underline this. City, municipality, administration, now in Finland, it's a really big deal to do that. This cross-sectoral cross, uh, cooperation, it's, it's, it's a way of living, even. So, in, the, in Finland, uh, if uh, 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 administration which are, is in charge of physical activity in small cities, it's, it, it will be cut off. If there is no, you see, this uh, strategy to do with, to deal with, uh, with health and so on. It's so brutal. Ryan and my cousin, now I said it. Ryan and my cousin, for example, from Lappeenrannan, small, small, small municipality knows that. 
when he shall be, will be retired, it might be, you see, that there is, you see, many small municipalities have the common, uh, the, 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 this, this kind of administration there. So it's a, it's a, it's a the important part, partners, infrastructure, and so on. <coughs> okay, but I, I think that this, this might be one, one point for our, our, for our working period late afternoon. So I would like to thank you for your yeah, okay. thank you for, for your attention and um, we can then perhaps talk a little about what we have here about. Thank you. People who are living in an active city, citizens, we just call them BFITs. <laughs> Who are fit? <laughs> so, this is an excellent outcome. Now we have the defense. Thank you very much, John, for this suggestion. It's a late result of yesterday's. <laughs>